Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. How all my adventures are doing? Welcome back to some more devlog. Devlog 16. I apologize for uh, <laughs> number 15. I don't know what happened. My mic just crapped out for some reason and literally destroyed itself. Uh, hold on, let me just test something. Make sure it doesn't do this and do it again in this recording. All right, never mind. I'm good. I'm good. Everything's fine. Everything is fine. But anywho, yeah, welcome back to another devlog. This is going to be me actually learning and coding in um, basically the whole battling system to where damage can be caused by these moves now. These moves that I've actually created. <laughs> they actually give me time to rebalance stuff now and change their power and accuracy and stuff like that. Which is going to be quite interesting to see how I'm going to balance all this out but this was like an extremely fun process even though I realized that I spelled current wrong and I go back and change it later it, I spelled it uh, C-U-R-R-E-C-T which I didn't realize because that was like so long ago I think I spelled it here no okay no I spelled it right I spelled it right, didn't I spelled it wrong? I don't know what was going on through my brain here. <laughs> but I've also figured out it doesn't matter. As long as the game recognizes it, it's fine. As long as you, you know, put it apart of something that the game can, well, the game can actually process your, your golden. But I still changed it just so I can have it. <laughs> Like, as a sense of, mm, how do I say it? Just so I know I don't suck <laughs> and have a clear mind of my spelling. Look, I changed it here. What if I, oh no, did I, I did it again. Okay, no, now I'm changing them. Yeah, this, this is why I go, I went through because I, I realized this this is coding from like a couple of videos ago. I also noticed this. Then I started using the find button just to find all the spelling errors I need to find and fix. Right now I'm trying to have it show that my monster used a move. So I'm checking for any mistakes, any spelling errors that I've made. Because I still have this weird obsession with capitalizing things in the middle of my coding. What if I ever find? Well, I do find it because it, it started work. It starts working now. And I got to just figure out what what other issue I caused. Because <laughs> this was like a. Um, Yesterday night. Oh no, this was like yesterday morning. That's when I did this. Because I was still looking around watching videos, so I kind of lost track of time of streaming this week. So next week, uh, I'll, I'll definitely catch up because I have some fun things for either this week or next week. Well, next week <laughs> or the next week after that, we're going to have some interesting things related to the game. That is then I can, you know, take a break, have have a little bit of a breather, be able to like upload other things. I still have that Outlast Trials video. I still haven't uploaded, so I'll probably upload that. So if you haven't noticed. Oh yeah, this, this for the longest time wasn't working until so I went back into my coding and actually fixed it. The issue was I didn't have this in there. <laughs> for some reason, my dialog box did not have my mana text. And I was so confused. I was like, wait a minute, dude, did I code it wrong? I spent like 
20 minutes trying to figure out what the heck went wrong with this coding. I was wondering like why is it back to showing up as typing. Yeah, I was wondering why it was showing up as this. Until I actually figured out that it just wasn't inside of my dialog box. Now it's inside of my dialog box, everything shows up and now it actually shows that I'm using the move. That was the issue is that mana text wasn't implemented into my dialog box. So it wasn't telling me that my monster was using a move. So now I can continue on now that it's actually working. So now we're doing the whole take damage from the enemy and me dealing damage to the enemy. I'm going to be using the standard, you know, somewhat Pokemon coatings for this. I might. Well, if I become advanced enough, I might change the formula. But we're just going to be using standard Pokemon formula for a while. That's a B, sir. Change that to a D. <laughs> I was sitting here wondering, I was like, wait a minute. What, why is this? Why does this have the little line of death under it? There you go. <laughs> Anytime I see that line of death, it's just like I have to fix it. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I'm very tired. I, I haven't really <laughs> slept. <laughs> So next week I will definitely start start up the stream. My apologies for this week. I kind of lost track of time, like learning how to code and stuff like that. Instead of faded, I changed it to defeated instead. I at least want to separate some things from, you know, Pokemon itself. <laughs> could say was defeated. I think that would be a better translation to go back into and change. I know a lot of my codings I'll go back later. It's going to be interesting to revisit a lot of these devlogs just to see the progress I've made. Because once I get all this done, I'm going to start focusing on visuals and having everything look good. Cause I know I'm not the best map designer. Let's say that. Then again, fiber is also an option to where they can make a map for me. And I put it into the game. Okay, so now we're verifying the enemy's move. To where it'll do a random move against us. And now I gotta also copy it to the player as well. So this is the enemy move. What we did up here was a player move. So now, so now the bot is going to be able to react to whatever we do and we'll be able to go into our whole turn based state. Now I have to set up my HP to go down when I do take damage. This one kind of confused me too of how he coded it, but I figured it out like pretty easily. Oh, we're almost towards the end. Jesus. Five times speed on a hour video is not that bad. 
especially when it's a lot easier to tell where the ending is so i don't have to reloop it again, like like last one i think it was 14 that i ended up relooping by mistake no it was i think it was 15. because 15 was originally like a 40 minute video that i rendered but it was actually like a 20 minute video <laughs> It only sucks because I had a lot of important things to talk about inside of 15. <laughs> uh, Sag. Yeah, it's still looking to draw. I didn't want to, you know, not give my... I didn't want to redo it and not feel like it was genuine. I hate doing that. It's, it's just become a thing on YouTube that I just hate doing. I hate take twos. Most of the time, I would just literally scrap a video if I have to go to tape twos. If something messed up in the recording or anything, it's just like, dude, I can't, I can't fake reaction. It's not me. I can't do it. <laughs> like I was saying, like I have a weird addiction with capitalizing things that don't need to be capitalized. That P is supposed to be lowercase. So that's why I constantly have to go back into my coding because I have a weird obsession with capitalizing things that does need to be capitalized. But then again, I can cap that. It's just everything has to be the same. At least I think so. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe I should. Maybe I'll get in trouble for that one too. <laughs> but I prefer to do the way that he's doing it just so I can, you know, become familiar with it and keep it in my mind. Then I could try, you know, newer things instead of different, you know, empty programs like the whole day cycle thing. I want to try that in an empty project before I actually put it inside of the main game project and see what that does. Because I don't want to mess up any with I don't want to mess up anything, and plus I'll get confused pretty easy. <laughs> kind of weird that you would think more plugins would be available inside of the Unity store. Okay, so yeah, there we go. I one-shotted it. <laughs> Not going to use something that won't one-shot it. There we go. So the battling is working and that's the end of it. So yeah, that's working. Now the next video, he says we're going to be learning how to do super effective moves and less effective moves. <sighs> this is going to be, this is going to be fun because I have quite the, the things on my list instead of it was super effective. I have quite a few things I can go through with that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys on the next devlog. Until then, peace out. Ah, another busy week. Great. <laughs>